Today I'm going to show you how to build a custom WooCommerce store page using the Astra theme and the power of Beaver Thema. And this is what we'll be building. A gorgeous e-commerce shop page using Astra theme and the Beaver Thema layout. We'll have a custom background, image inserted in here. We'll have a sidebar. We can put in pretty much anything we want there. We'll have a gorgeous grid layout. We can scroll down and hit the load more products button and have our products automatically loaded. All making this unique to our store. And it's done easily and simply with no code, simply using point and click. And that's the power of Beaver Thema. Let's get started. This is what my current store page looks like. I'm going to customize it. So currently it looks like this. And when we're done, it'll look like this. We've still got our header, we still got our footer, and then in between we've got this custom layout that we've created. With a sidebar, we can put anything we want in the sidebar, and there is our gorgeous grid layout with our load more. So once we click that, it'll load more products, and we can continue. There's our footer. As you can see, what I've also done here is I've, inclu I've included a beautiful background image that spreads full width right across. And that's how simple it is. To customize my store page, I'm going to use Beaver Thema. I've got Astra Theme installed, I've got Beaver Builder plugin installed, and then I've got the Beaver Thema plugin installed. So what we'll do to get started is go to our dashboard, and there's a Beaver Builder menu. We'll go to Thema Layouts, I'm going to click add new and I'm going to call the shop. It's going to be a theme layout and it's going to be an archive. Where do I want it to show? First of all, the types and archive location. I can hover over there for more information. Now this is asking me where do I want this to show? I want this to show only on the product archive. In other words, it must replace what's currently on the shop page with what I design now in Beaver Builder using Beaver Thema. So I'll click product archive, and then under users, I can decide, okay, where do I want, or who do I want to see this? I can have it in all users to see this, logged in users only, logged out users, administrators only, all these user roles, customers only. Very powerful where you can have a specific page show to specific people if you want. So the combinations and the options that you can set up here are really very powerful. You know, once you give it some thought and you think about how you can implement it. Generally, what I will say though is I don't get too technical with um, you know these kind of things. With uh, for example, for example, I'll show a specific page only to users. Now you can do that, and there are use cases for that. But generally, I try to keep it as simple as possible and have as few few layouts as possible to have to upkeep. But where it is justified and needed, by all means, I will use a specific layout for a specific user role. Anyway, to carry on, I'll click Publish. And then to get started with the editing, I'm going to click Launch Beaver Builder. And now it's opened up my shop archive in Beaver Builder. Here's my current header. It's keeping the header as is. I haven't replaced the header. And there's the name I gave it, Shop. And there's my breadcrumbs. Now this is the content. That we'll be replacing so I'll be designing this from the ground up between the head and the footer I'm now going to design a custom shop page with the features that I want in it now first of all I'm going to delete everything and start from scratch as you can see it's empty we've got our header we've got our footer we need to build out that cart page First thing I'm going to do is I want a sidebar and then I want my content. Now I could build it out, I could pull in a single column and I could drag in another column, put it on the left, put it on the right, bottom, top as I wish. In this case I'm going to put it on the left, I want my left sidebar there or the right and just drag it and then I could drag out my width the way I want it. Alternatively, I could put in two columns, exactly the same thing, and, and I could drag them the way I want. 
or I could pull in a left or right sidebar or a left and a right sidebar. And there we go. I leave it as is. There's my width. I could drag it again. We may we may tweak the widths later. Now for the actual products to display, I'm going to select Thema modules. I want that product there under WooCommerce. I don't need the breadcrumb. As you can see, I've already got it in my header. I'm going to drag in the products. Now remember, this is a high level overview. So I'm going to go through each option. I'm going to skip some options, but I'm going to go through some of the relevant options very, very quickly. A very high level overview to give you an idea of the power that you've got here. That's what it currently looks like. Now, once I start changing some of these settings here, this is going to um, change and that's not an issue. You can always, it's going to change and not look like this. Don't worry about it. You can just go and tweak everything the way that you want it. And I'll show you how we do this now. So some of the options we've got, I'll go through the four options. This is rather important. You may find something here that you specifically like. We could have columns. Now, as you can see, all the products have disappeared. It's now showing the blog. Most likely, yes, we've got a custom query uh, under the source. Now, if we select custom query instead of main query, main query will pull in, for example, on this page, we are on the, the product archive, it'll automatically pull in the products. If we were building this layout for the blog page, it would pull in the blog pages. But because we're on custom query and we've selected post types, in other words, blog posts, that's what it's pulling in here, we would have to select products. I hope that's clear and not confusing. Please do keep that in mind. Okay, so we've, our custom query is now selecting our products. So you can see there the products are. Let's go back to our ladder options. There's masonry. There's our masonry. Now we'll tweak this and make this look the way we want. And then we've got gallery. That would be more like a more of a gallery style layout. It may work. And then last but not least, list. There you go. That would be more of a list style. I'm going to stick with masonry for this example. Okay, now let's go through this. Under post layout, this is the default and we can use all of these options here. There is also a custom layout option. If we click that, we can edit our custom post layout. And this is where some of the power of Thema comes in. We could include almost anything we want here. We could have it almost exactly the way we want it. So this can give you very fine grain control if the normal options don't suit you. So you're not stuck into one thing. You could literally build this out and include almost anything you want and personalize it the way that you want it. So very, very powerful. We are not going to use this now. This would be a good video for another example of how to build a custom layout. I'm going to once again select default. This is a little bit more user friendly for people that don't know how to code. But as you can see there, that's just using short codes and a bit of HTML. It's very simple to do if you want to use a custom layout. Okay, let's continue. Uh, post equal heights. Let's, no, I don't think I'm going to make it equal heights, but the option is there. Post width for now, I'm going to, I think I'm going to push it to 240. Uh, post spacing 60 is too much. I prefer it to be a little bit skinny. I'm going to go with 10 here because I'm going to remove those borders. So it'll give me a lot more space. I'll make that 10. And post padding, I'm going to leave as is. I may need to refresh this to pull in those changes. Let's have a look. Publish. And there you go. I didn't even have to publish it. It's pulled in those changes that I've made. They'll cancel and continue. Okay. Now let's go have a look at our styling. We've got a lot of information here that we don't need. We don't need that content either. And I want to mess around with the padding a little. So let's click on it and we'll continue editing. Post width 240, I'll leave it as is for now. Post padding 20, I'll leave it as is for now. Post alignment, uh, it's default, which is left aligned. We've got left, center, and right. I like it left aligned. That's the look I'm going for you. Image, we want to show our image. There it is. We want to show our image position above our title. We've got an option to go above content, which would push it above our content there. I'm happy with the way that is. I want people to see the image first and be drawn to that. That's most likely what I'll draw them first of all. Image size, we've got all kinds of options here. I'm leaving it on medium. Image spacing, I'm leaving it on zero. Post info, I don't want the author to show, I'll hide that. I don't want to show the date, I'll hide that. As you can see, post author and post date have been removed. 
and then comments was already hidden if we had comments in there and any of these options here the separator would be the pipe we could have a comma in here we could have a comma in here we could have a full stop or half and whatever you want post terms are hidden i actually want the post terms to show you so that would be the category now you can see the category this is the category this has been posted in men's shoes and there's where we get the terms label the posted in let's say that we wanted this to say category instead we could just change that there now it says category as you can see or perhaps department that would be your store department you can see it there in this case i'm going to remove everything i want nothing to show except for that term which would be that category which is men's shoes and there we go that's what i'm looking for same thing with a separator if you had multiple yeah i don't recommend that but you could have it in multiple departments i would try to keep everything for simplicity's sake in one department i also think with respect to seo keeping it in one department will will help keep your your content from being diluted okay post content that would be all the text there we don't want that to show so we'll hide that now if we wanted the post content to show we could have a content length here let's say we wanted only 18 words to show and you wanted a short description you could put it in there and just specify how many words you'd want to show that's what that's for the more link we don't need that it's hidden woocommerce product ordering we definitely want that so i'm going to show that you'll see that once we refresh product sale we definitely want that to to show there it is product rating i want that i'll show product price most definitely want that there's the rating by the way show product price there it is perfect cart button i definitely want that to show i will make that visible and there it is okay that's starting to look good now we'll mess around with the pagination and a few other things first things first i would like to remove this border let's go to style to do that okay before we get to the border well let's do the border quickly post border type i'm going to say none and you'll see it remove there that's removed that's exactly what i'm looking for now we could have a background color on our post let me give an example of what this would look like let's say we wanted it so oh, let's not go with that orange let's say we wanted a kind of a gray color let's put it over there mess around over maybe over yonder so we could have a color there we could mess with it as its opacity let's say we wanted 50 percent so you could do something like that i don't want a post color for this example so i'm going to remove it next we could customize our text color we could customize our font size i do think i need to change the font size here in this application i may have rather long product titles and that means that they might get pushed to second third or even fourth line with a very big font i want to minimize that as much as possible so i'm going to make that font probably 16 or 18 let's go to 18 and see i think that could work we may get onto a third line but most likely two lines will be fine so i'll leave it as is post info color we don't have to worry about that post info size also not applicable content color not applicable we remove the content the options are there to style it if it was there our link color not applicable or link hover color now here we go woocommerce product sale background let's make it that orange and make it really stand out from our add to cart button so those two will contrast nicely product sale background i want that orange okay that looks very good that screams sale i like that we could change the text color i'm happy with the white there on the sale badge okay product rating foreground and background i'm not going to change those the options are there product price text color we could change the color there if we wanted to write here we've got some granular control we could change the font size as well i'm happy with that font size it's rather big in fact it's the biggest thing that's there so i really want those prices and those specials to stand out i like the look of that because in this particular store we're very price sensitive and i want to advertise that our, our prices are very good low prices good quality or good value rather anyway woocommerce cart button yeah we could have we could change the background color so we could have whatever color we want yeah we could change the text color i'm going to leave it as is i like that contrast with the black and the orange looks rather good now let's go to the content um, section or tab rather have a look at what we've got there i'm leaving it on custom query i'm leaving it on products i did explain that a little earlier now we could change our order here by default um, we're going to have it descending in other words first in 
would show up here or, or last in rather would show up here latest products first we could change it to ascending we could order by author which we're not going to do or rather by comment date id whatever you want here in fact let's go and do it by um, i think by date the latest product will show first because it's descending if we had to go ascending then it would be oldest product first so you've got the idea of how you could mess around with this i mean you could do it by title random that might be a good thing as well um, i definitely want my latest products to show first this is a fashion store so people always always want the latest things exclude current post that's if we want to exclude a current post that's not applicable i'm going to leave it i definitely want to leave it as is now we could filter yeah, this is uh, very powerful we could filter our products we could enter a list of products and, and show only a specific um, list of products we could only filter by product categories and show only specific categories or even product tags even authors now i'm leaving it as is yeah but let's say that you had to create a module yeah perhaps you used uh let's have a look perhaps you used the gallery or the list or something like that you could then stick a list of of let's say for example your latest products and you could make it show only three products or four whatever the case may be you could create a, a module or template with that and have that put in anywhere else on your site now i know that might sound confusing perhaps i have explained it a little unclear I apologize for that my point being here is that you could stick in create a specific module for something that you want to show let's say it was specials or latest products or items on sale and you could put it anywhere else that you wanted so keep that in mind very powerful once you start thinking about all the various options that are available so it's, it's very customizable uh, you can make your site very unique as well keep that in mind we want content uh yes okay i think we finished there let's do pagination last of all currently there are regular pagination or there is regular pagination showing so options here are numbers which is numbers currently selected post per page 10 so it'll show 10 products um in this case i think we got a little bit more one two three four five six oh that is ten apologies well we we may want to make this nine because we've got three columns and it'll move that one now we've got nine and it'll paginate to the next page depending on how many products we've got we could also choose scroll and this would automatically load more products as we get to the bottom of our page when we're scrolling and it would show those nine first of all and then the load more button which is what i'm going to be choosing for this example so when we get to nine products we've selected nine it'll show us the load more button and then we click that and it'll load more products so someone doesn't even have to leave the page it'll simply just load the products and they can scroll right down in the same page i think that's in this particular circumstance will work the, the, the most effectively we can have a no search results message and you can customize the message to whatever you want and we can so show a search button so that would show right at the bottom and people can actually search right there for something they're looking for now let's go customize that load button load more button that looks very boring i'm going to say load more products make it a little bit more explanatory there load more products now i want an icon here i'll click the select icon in this particular button so i'll click select icon now i could search through whatever i want here i want a chevron in this case um, okay it's not a chevron apologies we could put a chevron in but you could search for almost anything you want there that's what i'm looking for so it, okay there it's in i don't want my icon before my text the position i want it after my text there it is okay good icon visibility always visible or fade in on hover i want it on always visible background color that would be for my button i'm going to make this orange as well to contrast very nicely with the black buttons background color i'm going to select my orange now i need my text to be white i'll select white there there it is and next my background hover color i'm going to make it go slightly more or well, slightly lighter so i'll select my save color or my color preset i'll make that slightly lighter that looks good my text color i beg your pardon for my hover text color will be oops it'll be apologies it'll be white as well 
and that's what it looks like I like the look of that I'm going to leave it as is I like a little bit more padding on this row click on the row icon I'm going to make this probably around 80 yes a little bit more breathing room there that looks good as you can see let's go to the style on this row this is a fixed width row I'm going to make it full width and I'm going to make the content fixed so I could make the content full width if I wanted now it'll stretch right across if I had to move this you can see it's stretching there okay so that's how it is there now the reason why I'm doing this specifically well let's make it um, fixed width now it's fixed width again the reason why I'm doing this is I would like to have a custom background image on this specific shop page I really wanted to to make it unusual and make it unique so what I do there I'm in my row settings I'll scroll down and I'll select background type I'm going to make this a photo I'm going to select a photo uh, by clicking background photo select photo I've already got a photo selected I'm going to select it and say select photo and there we go there's my background photo now it's subtle but I like the look of it and it makes my shop unique now what I'm going to do is as follows I'm going to make the repeat tile position center top you can mess around with this if you wanted this and the scale will be full in fact scale can be none because I'm filling there that uh, is exactly what I'm looking for perfect no overlay border type none I'm happy with all of that I'm on my post module style post background color I'm going to make that opacity zero and I'm going to select a color any color but I've made it zero now you can see my background image showing through now my background image might be slightly distracting what I'm going to do then is possibly that post background color is white let's make it a 5% and see if that helps to lessen the distraction no I don't think that's enough I'm going to go up to 25 and have a look okay I like the look of that now you can still see it shining through there but it's a lot less distracting I really do like the look of that okay I am liking this very much let's go slightly higher 35 possibly okay I think that's absolutely perfect looking very good I love it now we still don't have anything in our sidebar let's gonna add something in there go to modules WordPress widgets and let's say filter products by price all we do is drag it into our sidebar and what's the title we want to put here filter by price I want the p2b and I'll save it filter by price is in there it's not displaying once I update it it'll display I also want to add in one or two other things there I think I'm going to stick in a product search there I'll put that right at the top I'm happy with that I'm also going to stick in a let's have a look product categories I think I'm going to put in there I'll put that right at the bottom and we'll call it product categories I don't think I'm going to show hierarchy there I will show product counts there we go perfect what I think I'm going to do as well is maybe make this slightly 28 yes that looks a bit better a little bit more breathing room there product filters not showing like I said the one to update it will show and that is it for now I like the look of that it looks good yes that works for me okay now what we'll do is I'm going to click done and we are going to view our store on the front end done and publish and on the front end it looks good but I see we've got an issue we set it to be full width and contained and now it's it's only contained that full width is not put, pulling through here in the theme I've reached out to Astra and there's a glitch that they need to fix they're actually busy fixing it already in the meantime all we need to do to get that fixed is use a little bit of CSS I'll show you how to do that so on the back end we click on page builder once again 
we'll edit our layout. All we do is go to editing and we will say layout CSS and JavaScript. Click that. And yeah, we can put in our custom CSS snippet. This will be a temporary fix until it gets fixed in Astra, which shouldn't take long at all. And there's the CSS we need to add. I'll have a link in the description where I'll include the CSS on the website. So you can go and copy it there and use it. So that's a quick and easy fix. Once I'm finished, I click save and done. And let's have a look at it now. Remember that was what it looked like and we'll refresh and perfect. That is our custom WooCommerce store using Beaver Thema and Astra Theme. Thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. I really do appreciate it. If this content was useful, please do subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and also the notification bell and you'll be notified each time I upload new videos. I'll be uploading videos on WooCommerce on a weekly basis to help you build your store better. Once again, thank you. Have a super day. Bye for now.